Right, second time at trying to do this video because the first time I pushed the photograph <laughs> button. We decided to come out on a family hike because down in Pembrokeshire there is a chapel that's embedded in the cliff face. So we thought we'd have a little walk down there. We were told it was about a two mile hike. So we're walking and walking and walking. We couldn't see any signposts. Got to the point where I thought enough's enough. I'm going to get the phone out and see where we're going. We'd overshot it by two miles. <laughs> so we're on our way back now. 39 minute walk to see a chapel with no signage. When I get there, I'm going to have a word with the big man upstairs and ask him where his sodding signpost was. Three of us are walking, maybe less when we get back to the caravan. <laughs> right, see you later. Right, we are down in Pembrokeshire, down at uh, St. Govan's Head. I think the place called, and there's a chapel just through the caves, which is called uh, St. Govan's Chapel, which is built in between the cliffs. You see, we're literally right down. Down here, and I've had to come through that cave to get here, so we're gonna go through there now and uh, I'll give you a bit of a view. So let's go. It's a bit like parkour. <laughs> No, it's too dangerous, mate. Well, this way? So I'm going to just come through this cave here now. And, uh, this little cliff ledge that I was uh, stood on earlier. And uh, there you go, you've got the chapel up there. Built into the cliff. You've got to walk through that chapel to get all the way out. Let's go then. Mm -hmm. Say hello, dear. Hang on out. Made it all this way to not get anything to do. <clears throat> so then it's a bit of a traversing over these clear, out of these boulders. And there is another bit of a cave over there, I think. Uh, if you make your way back over towards Mum, I'm gonna go this route here, all right? No, it's too dangerous. So we got... Gap here. Here. Bigger gaps here and there, covered in a bit of green, so I've got to be careful. Oh, 
hard work. So we got drips are falling down. me lovely wife waiting to have the insurance cash out <laughs> right. Right. back up now to the chapel on time. to the chapel there it's <sighs> so I reckon that's boy I must have tipped all the who and we can you imagine being able to detect her own this I reckon this is medieval you can imagine Here is a dead end. Um, it's hard to tell whether it was a whether it was a poo hole. But uh, it didn't come out. It's the way out. There you go. All the way up there. Well, that concludes our little uh, tour guide at St. Govan's Chapel. And there we go. Got a family down there. I suppose I better go and get them. So, uh, thanks for coming along for the little trip through the cave. A little bit of uh, beginner's har parkour. How to fit that they actually built this within the side of a cliff. Wow. Right. We'll catch up with me when we get to the back. To the top of the stairs, I'll see you in a bit. So here we are, we're at the top now. Let's just give you a little view of what it's like from above. 
There we go. There you go. Look at that. Perfectly concealed within the within this gorge. Well, we may have uh, may have walked two miles past it to get to it before we realised we've gone too far. But uh, that was good. Enjoy the trip. Good. My legs are dead. Oh, something different from a channel, anyway. Don't forget. Head over to Unearthed UK, have a look at their detecting stuff, and don't forget to use discount code Dark Knight for 10% off illegible items. Give them a ring to do this. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Ta -da.